Hello all, welcome to the VoIP Traffic Analysis course on Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we will look at how we can visualize the WAV files we extracted from the PCAP file in the previous video. So for this purpose, we are actually going to use a tool called Audacity, uh, which is a fantastic open source cross-platform software, uh, which can actually be used for a lot of audio editing purposes. So let's jump right in. I'm going to go inside my VoIP class directory, sample calls, SIP RTP, and uh, just going to create another temporary directory. Actually, let's create it inside workspace. Let's just call it audacity change directory audacity and then I'm going to copy the conference call pcap to this directory I'm also going to copy the pcap.wave tool from the workspace directory to this directory and let's actually go ahead and run pcap to wave on this so that we can extract uh, all the six streams now while this is happening, in a new tab, I'm going to go ahead and install Audacity. That's it, there's just one command and the default Audacity in Ubuntu's repo is actually good enough. Uh, we don't need to download or install or, or get a newer version. In my case, it's already installed. I actually did it to test out uh, the demo of this video. But once you run this command, that's all you actually need. I mean, there is no other setup step. So let's wait for uh, all the six payloads to be extracted. Now, one of the key challenges was in the previous videos, when we looked at the wave file, we double clicked it. Uh, you know, we got this little dark screen where we had no idea where the audio data was actually hidden, right? So Audacity and other audio editing tools allow us to visualize the waveform and actually transform it, you know, stitch it with other waveforms and a lot of other activities. Now from our perspective, all I want to do is visualize the waveform and play it. Now one important thing to keep in mind is especially with conference calls, as people may be joining and leaving at arbitrary times, you may at times have to do the syncing of the audio timeline yourself, right? Uh, and this can be non-trivial. Now, unlike the case where we have the two caller or the voicemail, everything is perfectly synced simply because, you know, for a call to actually happen, both callers have to be talking. And for voicemail to work, the caller and the registry would have to talk to each other, right? The server would have to talk to the caller. Okay. Now we should be able to see the different PCAP files. Looks like, oh, I actually forgot to give these a name. Unfortunately, because of that, it seems like it created this in the temp directory. No problem, let's actually copy this out from temp to the current directory. So this is gonna be PCAP to wave star dot wave current directory. So we have all the wave files in here. And now let's actually navigate. Actually, we don't need to navigate. Let's run Audacity. Unfortunately, because of the screen resolution, uh, in my case, you might actually see all this top part like jumbled up and you know, uh, the fonts all are kind of uneven. Uh, I apologize, but really all we have to do is click on File, Import, Audio. Go up to the directory. So inside Workspace, we need to find the Audacity directory. I'm going to copy out all of these six WAV files. Click on Open. And this would automatically lay out these WAV files on the timeline, right? As I said, there are other things to consider as well at times, but in this case, we can clearly see them. 
uh, one below the other. So let's hit play. Now, at times, maybe because I'm running in a VM, you can kind of hear the audio all uh, jumbled up. So I'm just going to close it and restart it. Again, I don't even know if the speakers are loud enough that this is picking it up. Uh, the microphone is picking it up. If not, you just have to trust me that there is an audio. <laughs> so I'm going to relaunch Audacity once again. Click File, Import, Audio. Generally, it's a good idea actually not to do this in a VM and, and do it on a bare metal machine. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. Still seem to be having problems playing it. Anyway, so you can try it on your machine. The key thing to note is that we are able to see these uh, waveforms very clearly. And that basically allows us to understand that given an extracted wave file exactly uh, where the information is, right? And this is extremely useful. So try using this tool. And as I said, if you're having problem within the VM, you can run it on your host machine and it should just work fine. So this is all I had in mind for this video. If you're enjoying your time at Pentester Academy, please recommend us. Thank you.